We're still searching for a first qualified ride. Will it be Cody Teal? A very business-like ride earlier today in round number three. He has chosen after midnight. This is a good matchup. Watch this bull be right at the corner post right here. Probably to the right. He can, he can hit his head. He can kick the back of those shoes. They're probably going to use that. Yeah, I can see that pad back there. Bruiser's pack is this bull kicks the back of those shoes as well. When they do that, that's a sign of just how ranked they can be. And this is going to be right here inside the gate. You can see actually somebody trying to move that slide gate right there to divert after midnight's attention to try to get him in a better position. But I've heard you, right, J-Dub, and others say a bull is not going to go anywhere he doesn't want to. No, you can't make these bulls buck. You can't make them do anything they don't want to do. They're animals, and they love what they do. They're bred to do this. And uh, you can't just take a bull out of the grandpa's pasture and bring him in here and see this kind of sportsmanship out of one. These hey, bulls are line bred to do it. Hey, Jesse, you are definitely making the difference down there. I'm working on it. <laughs> Just give me a minute, Craig. Okay. <laughs> Take as long as you need, by the way. You're going to have to read the hole, but yeah, this bull just squatted down and really leaning on the gate, so Cody couldn't get his leg down. There was no way he was getting a good shot at him, so we're going to start over. Go in terms of not just your career, J-Dub, but what you have seen from a riding perspective and now a contracting perspective as to what a rewrap or what a reset does to this pairing. Well, I like it on both accounts. I like it on Cody's and I like it on the stock contractors. They want this bull to have a good shot. They want him to have a fair shot. They want Cody to have a fair shot so there's no foul right out of here. All day. Yeah. It's Cody Teal who's able to stop the clock, make the eight, and best after midnight. We've got a qualified ride in the championship round, and Cody Teal has improved his position. This was just a practice pin ride for him as well, because look, this bull's jumping and kicking hard. I know he doesn't spin, but this bull has the up and down. He's going to be in that mid 80s, 86 and three quarters on a bull that did not turn back. That shows how hard this bull went up and down. But you know what, when they do that to the, for the right guys to ride them, it really is a day off for him. And it was that for Cody Teal. And just like that, 86 and three quarters puts him on top. He's with Kate. Only the second guy ever to get past that bull. What was the key to making the distance? You know, that front end and try to take some of that power away and uh, get those hips underneath them, you know. Really stout bull. Just uh, glad to get by. Worked out well, Craig. And what a great example of how tough this sport can be and how taxing to see that sweat, to hear that breath from Cody Teal. And